Welcome to the good old days. Students often ask me how many basements are in the high school, and there's actually three different basement areas, and on today's episode, we're gonna check them out. First, let's start with the biggest of the basement areas, and it's also the newest being built in 1994, and it's right underneath the 700s hallway. You can get down it either through a staircase or the elevator. As you can see here, there's a B, and you probably think that B stands for Boyertown, but actually that stands for basement, and you need a special key for the elevator to take you down into the basement. As far as basements go, this one is pretty big and well lit. It even has windows over here on the side. There's also a lot of storage down here. We got paper towels, cleaning products, different parts for different lights. This is Steve, the district electrician, and he's repairing clocks today. Hello. All the blueprints for the building are all in these cabinets. There's also lots and lots of desks stored down here. The second oldest basement area is here in the 500s and the 400s, and this part of the building was built in the mid-50s. And there's different ways to get into this basement, but we're gonna go in through this custodial closet. So in here you have some different mechanical equipment, water pumps for the heating system, and you also have all the plumbing for both the air conditioning and water and drains. You cannot stand up straight in this area. It's more of a crawl space than anything. The oldest basement area is here in the old building, and there's a couple ways to get to it, but we're gonna use this door right in this hallway by IT. Now this is by far the creepiest and most historic basement. This part that we're standing in right now was the original gymnasium of the building back in 1921. Now it's a concrete floor, but in 1921, this was a wooden floor and there was no ceiling right above us. It used to go all the way up to the top of the first floor. But up these steps is the building's original boiler room. Right here where this modern air handler is was the school's original coal-fired boiler. In this room right here, you can see there's an opening up there. That's where coal was delivered to the high school, and this whole room would be filled with coal, and the custodians would have to shovel the coal from here and throw it into the coal-fired boiler. You can still see all the original brownstone that was used as the foundation for the school. Well, now you got an inside look at what the subterranean areas of the high school look like. And remember, the good old days weren't always good, and tomorrow ain't as bad as it seems. I'll see you then.